Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. I think I am live. If you can hear me, can you say hello? Okay. If you can hear me, can you write your name? What's your name? And uh, where are you? Which province are you in? Okay. My name is uh, Rob. And I'm in uh, Rome now. So if you are here, can you write your name? What's your name? And where are you? What's your name? Where are you? Hello, Pasquale from Salerno. How are you, Pasquale? Are you good? Bad? Okay. How are you? I am fine. I'm a little bit tired. But I'm fine. How are you, Pasquale? Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, Salerno? Where is uh, Salerno? Right to me. Is it in the north or the south? East or west? My. Uh, Italian geography is terrible. Um, I'm uh, I'm good, Pasquale. Thank you. I'm uh, quite relaxed. Okay, in Campania. Campania is in the south, right? Is Campania in the south? No, Campania is uh, where Naples is. So Salerno. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Pasquale. Um, okay, Salerno is a nice city. Do you like Salerno? Is it a big city or a small city? I am in uh, Rome. It's loud, no. Is it big or small? Okay, nice. The uh, Amalfi Coast is beautiful, isn't it? Thanks, Pasquale. Um, yeah, yeah, the Amalfi Coast is a beautiful area in uh, in Rome. You know, it's a beautiful area um, in Italy. Yeah. If there is a 
new people here. Just say, uh, what's your name and where are you? So we have uh, Pasquale, and he is from uh, Salerno. Uh, is there anyone else? Yeah, lo lots of tourists in the Amalfi Coast. Now, maybe no tourists, <laughs> but uh, in the summer, is it, there's lots. Hello, Alex from uh, from Bari. Okay. Um, Bari is in the south. I know. I know where Bari is. How are you, Alex? You good? Thanks, Alex. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, yeah. This summer, probably uh, a few, a few tourists. Uh, so not a small, but maybe a few would be a better word. So. Um, Alex, I'm good. Thank you. I'm uh, just relaxing in my house, of course. Everything is uh, inside at the moment. Yeah, uh, Pasquale, we use a few for uh, countable nouns and a little for uh, uncountable nouns. For example, you say, I have a little money, or I have a little uh, sugar, but I have a few, there are a few tourists, or I have a few apples. All right, cool. So uh, we're going to look at asking questions today. Mm -hmm. Uh, talking about question words um, and asking some questions using question words and also learning the quasi trick. Okay. Um, the quasi trick is a good way to remember questions and how to make questions. Mm -hmm. First, I have some questions here. Can you put these uh, questions in the correct order? Okay. What is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth? And write the answer. Okay. So uh, let's start with number one. What is the correct question? What do you think?
Um, Pascale almost. Um, so kind in this sentence, kind is the same as type. So kind is the same as type. Okay. Okay, Pasquale, it's it's no problem. Okay. Um, yeah, Alex, it's perfect. Uh, what kind of books do you like? So, like, what kind of books? This is your question word. Okay. So what kind of books do you like? Kind of books is the question word. What about number number two? What do you think about uh, number two? So number two. I should say the response to what kind of books do you like? The response is, ah, I like drama books or I like action books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pasquale, perfect. Mm -hmm. So who do you admire in your family? Uh, remember the question mark. Because it's a question. I know maybe it was a accident, but uh, remember the question mark. Mm -hmm. Because it's a question. Um okay, what about number number three? What do you think about number three? Yep, perfect. Pasquale, fantastic. Um, where do they work? Again, Pasquale, remember your question marks. So don't forget, where do they work? With a question mark. Okay. But yeah, where do they work? What about number, number four? Uh, Alex, if you are here, or Pasquale? Now, this is a third person question, number four. So write the answers. <laughs> Thank you, Pasquale. <laughs> I mean, you just need one, but. <laughs> Remember the question mark. Um, yeah, Alex, lovely. Where does he do his homework? Pasquale, see, Alex remembers the question mark. <laughs> um, so where does he do his homework? Number five. Number five. Yeah, perfect, Pasquale as well. Where does he do his homework? Perfect.
What do we think about number five? Great. Great. Thank you. Yeah, Alex, remember the we need an article for uh, the TV. Because we're talking about a specific TV. Yeah, so the TV, not a TV general. Um, yeah, Pasquale, perfect. How do you turn on the TV? Um, yeah, turn on is our uh, phrasal verb for turn, switching on. Uh, the opposite of turn on, turn off. And number six, number six, what do you think? Uh, yeah, Pasquale, maybe a different subject, but you have the right, uh, the correct idea but uh, maybe a different subject. I think you know, you also forgot the question mark. It's okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, perfect, Alex. Great. Good. Um, and Pasquale, you're saying you study English for work. Yeah, fantastic. Um, Alex, why do you study English? Alex. Uh, so Pasquale studies English for work. What about you, Alex? Um, for holidays, maybe? Or for travel, possibly? Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Taxi driver at the uh, Al Malfi coast. It must be very uh, popular. Lots of tourists. They always need uh, taxi drivers. And uh, uh, Alex, uh, for personal gain or personal culture, okay, lovely. Uh, for traveling as well, maybe. Um, in Ravello, okay. Ravello is near Salerno, I guess. Ravello. Um, okay, so uh, can you think of some uh, the question words? What question words can you uh, think about? Cool. Thanks, Alex. Um, so, uh, okay, so it's near Amalfi Coast. Lots of tourists. Lots of tourists around Ravello, or lots of taxis. Okay, nice. Wow, it's lots of uh, languages, Alex. You will speak Spanish, English, and uh, Italian. It's fantastic. Um, well, what about the question words? Tell me, uh, 
Can you tell me the question words? What are they? Um, so I'll give you an example. When? So for example, when is a question word. What other question words are there? Hey, Simona, how are you? From Naples. Cool. Um, I think uh, Pasquale lives in uh, in Campania too. So uh, you live in Campania, and Pasquale also lives in Campania. Okay, so for traveling and for work. Okay, right. Well, nice to meet you, I'm Simona. Yeah, we're just talking about the question words no so just tell me any question words so what are the question words so for example when is a question word can you tell me any other question words okay. so when do you study english is good but uh excellent uh, but what are the question words? So we have when, ah, lovely, Simona, thank you. Yeah, who, what, how often, perfect, Pasquale? <laughs> yeah, that's true, Alex. Uh, all of you are south of Italy, I think. <laughs> Alex is a uh, baddie. Uh, why? I think this is why. <laughs> Where? Which? How? Are there any more? I can't, I don't know. But yeah, perfect. So we have lots of uh, question words. Um, here they are. We have our question words. Can we complete the gaps? So when do we use the question words? So for example, we use who uh, because we talk about uh, people, okay? So who is for people? Um, for example, who is the best footballer? Messi is the best footballer. Yeah, people. What about the others? What? What do we think about what? Lovely, Simona, yeah. So sort of things or information as well. Okay, so what is the time is for information or what are, are you doing? Uh, I'm going to the cinema. So for things. Yeah, lovely, Alex. Places, situations. So situations like where is the party? So yeah, for situation or places. Yeah, yeah when for time, um, for example, when do you go to the cinema? I go on Tuesday. Why for? answer yeah or like pasquale said like for reasons so because basically so why is also for because right 
why do you like Italy? Because pizza is fantastic. So why would be a sort of because uh, the reason for something. What about a uh, witch? What do we think? So for example, with a witch, I could say, ah, which do you prefer, green or blue? Or which do you prefer, green, blue, or red? Yeah, Pasquale, similar, similar to what? But you have a choice, okay? So like, what color do you like? Ah, I like red, or I like yellow. But which uh, color do you prefer? Red, green, or blue? Ah, I prefer uh, green. I have a, I have a choice. Yeah, exactly, Pasquale. So it's for a, a choice. <laughs> I dropped it. Uh, yeah, choose. Yeah, choice. Perfect. Um, so you can decide is it red or blue or green? You have a choice. But what is more general? What color do you like? Ah, oh, I like. Oops. How for mode? Yeah, I suppose. Like uh, for travel mode, I guess. Or condition. Okay. So, uh, for example, how are you? It's for your condition. How do you feel? Okay. But also it could be for mode, like transport. Like how do you get to school? Ah, I... I walk to school, or I drive to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alex, yeah, correct. Uh, how often for the number of times you do an action? Mm -hmm. So for frequency is the, frequency is the number of times you do. Um, yeah, so how often for frequency? Um, no, no, Pasquale. Um, which we use when we have a choice, which option. Okay, so like which we would use when we have a choice or options, okay? So you can choose this, this, or this, okay? But uh, what is more general? Mm -hmm. So for example, you can say, what color do you? like or what color do you like is general what color do you like mm -hmm. but then you would say which color do you prefer green red or 
and you would say, which color do you prefer, green, red, or blue? You can choose. It's not about countable or uncountable. It's just about having a choice. OK? Okay, cool. <laughs> so your, your answer is fine. Um, so we're going to look at uh, questions and making questions using uh, Quasi. Okay. Quasi is how you can remember the order. Okay. So you always start with a question word. Yeah. So, for example, where, what, why, when, how, blah, 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 blah. Then you always need your auxiliary verb, normally. So, do or does. So, you question word, auxiliary. Then you need your subject. So, he or she or they or... I or you. Mm -hmm. And finally, you need your infinitive verb. Okay? So, question word, auxiliary, subject, infinitive. And if you put it together, it spells uh, quasi. Okay? Exactly, Alex. So you could say, who do you go running with? Preposition needs to go on the end. Where do you watch TV? Exactly. So do you want to drink? I suppose. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's look yeah, at some examples. Why do we study English? So why question word. Do auxiliary. We study. We subject. Study infinitive. Mm -hmm. When does the movie start? When does the movie start? Mm -hmm. So, uh, can you ask Rob? So, oh, ask Rob some questions. Okay, uh, I, I am Rob. <laughs> okay. Um, so using the quasi trick. So question word auxiliary subject infinitive. Can you ask me some questions? Um, <laughs> good question, uh, Pasquale. <laughs> Um, how often do I want to go drinking? Um, thank you. Question mark. Um, not super often. Maybe twice a week, two times a week. Okay. Remember, though, um, with a want always plus infinitive the want is always plus infinitive verb so want to go or want to drink okay Uh, Simona, perfect, yeah. I, yeah, perfect question. I eat chocolate. Chocolate cereal. <laughs> Not chocolate, but chocolate cereal for breakfast. Always. Or nothing. Just coffee or chocolate cereal. Two options. <laughs> what do you eat for breakfast? Simona. 
How many times? Yeah, time would be um, uncountable. So how much time? But you would say, how long do you have you lived in Italy? Uh, and I've lived about five, five months, five months in Italy, I think, about five months. Uh, yeah, Pasquale, drink. So how often do you want to drink? Um, it's a good question, Simone. I like it. I've uh, taught English for five years. I think about five or six years. Um, so uh, I just I, I enjoy uh, watching students progress and improve, and also just helping students improve. But it's a it's a good question, Simona. Fabrizio, how much coffee do you drink? Remember auxiliary. So how much coffee do you drink? Okay, so, ah, hello Fabrizio, you are new, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, so how much coffee do you drink? Mm -hmm. uh, I drink one cup, one cup a day, in the morning, normally. Um, uh, Alex, 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 uh, this is a verb B question. Um, so a verb B question is different. Okay. So you say, where were you born? Okay. So that would be question word. Plus B plus subject. Okay, so for the verb B, there it goes question word plus B plus subject. So where were you born? Um, I was born in uh, Scotland, in Edinburgh, or Edinburgh in a Italy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, in Scotland. Um, thank you, Pasquale. Um, what time do you wake up in the morning? Uh, I, I wake up, <laughs> yeah, I wake up at um, About now, I wake up at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, but uh, before maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Alex, yeah, question word plus B plus subject if it is a verb B question. Okay, so it's different. These are using other verbs. Oops. These are using the other verbs, so study and start. But if it's a verb B question, it's a, uh, it's different. It's a question word. So where where are you from, or what is your name? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Okay. So question word, how old are be you subject? Scotland, Pasquale, I'm from Scotland. Um, Edinburgh. I'm from. Okay. So question. <laughs> Thank you, Pasquale. You forget your question mark always. Um, 
I sleep at, I don't know. I mean, normally I sleep at 12 o'clock, one o'clock every night. Yeah. Okay, so I have some questions for you now. Okay, so who is your favorite movie star? Can you answer some of these questions? I will ask and you can answer. So. So who is your favorite movie star? Tell me. So who? If it who? If it is who, we know it's about a person. Mm -hmm. So who is your favorite? And a movie star is an actor or actress, okay? So who is your favorite movie star? Ah, okay, Pasquale, yours is uh, Stallone from uh, Rambo. Do you like the movie uh, Rambo? Johnny Depp, Alex, uh, like your picture? I think your picture is, uh, your profile picture is Johnny Depp. Um, do you have a, what is Johnny Depp's best movie? Mm -hmm. And, uh, what is, uh, Stallone's best movie? Yes. And, uh, Simona, you're like Will Smith. Ah, okay. What's your favorite Will Smith? movie so tell me your favorite movie from your or by your movie star what's your favorite of their movies For example, I like Leonardo DiCaprio, and my favorite movies, my favorite movie is Inception, maybe. Uh, okay, Alex, your favorite deaf movie is... Uh, uh, okay. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah? From the picture. In Italian, La Fabrica di Chocolata. Chocolata. In English, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, nice. Uh, what are you, Pasquale? What's your favorite uh, Stallone movie? And um, Simona, what's your favorite Will Smith movie? Okay, yeah, Io sono leggenda. Uh, in English, I am legend. I Am Legend is a very uh, good film and a good book. There's a good book called I Am a Legend. 
Oh, I know the one you're talking about. Seven pounds in English. Sit down and... But okay. It's okay. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about the uh, English title. <laughs> um, ah, Alex is asking, uh, who's the actor from Sete Anime? Simona. And yeah, Pasquale, Rambo movies. Uh, fantastic. And Rocky movies, so good. Um, or Creed. Have you seen uh, the movie Creed, which is uh, the new Rocky movies? So I think the actor in Sete Anime, Seven Pounds, is a... Uh, ah, there we go, yeah, Will Smith. So Will Smith is the... Ah, yeah, Alex, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, tonight you're going to watch it? I think maybe in uh, six months you can live it. <laughs> I'm joking. It's, it's all fine. Um, yeah, Creed, I think is great. Great, great movie. Okay. On Netflix, on would be preposition for Netflix. Escape plan. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we're going to finish. Finish now, okay. Uh, but have a good, uh, have a good evening, okay. And uh, bye. It was uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> uh, okay, goodbye, guys. Have a good evening. <laughs>